Okay. This may be a hodgepodge of stuff back and forth and back and forth, but we'll try to we'll try to make sense of it all. Um let me fix this. Uh, listen, I just gave you some like five minutes ago. Yes, I did too. Don't you tell me I didn't. I did. But that is just for my right side. <laughs> wrong with my camera okay so um oh uh oh fly mom I'm so sorry that's no fun don't get sick no fun okay so I just wanted to give you an update on Donna <laughs> and an update on the cats where we're at with all of this and I haven't done boxes in over a week and I am so very sorry about that. We'll get boxes caught up. I just don't know day to day what's going on right now. Hi everybody. Okay, so for Donna first, um, she was, today's Saturday, her surgery was Thursday, put in intensive care, was gonna get out Friday of intensive care, didn't happen. They were hoping to pull her um, spinal catheter today. That didn't happen. She's um, still running another fever, uh, but it did go down last night. They do think that this is not from an infection. They do think it's from a, like a, an um, inflammatory response to everything that's been happening to her. So they're not too concerned about the, um, about that. But unfortunately, because of the spinal catheter. She is in bad, she, can, she has to stay on her back. And what the spinal catheter does is it, um, I don't know if I can explain it correctly, but um, so if you consider like if this is the aorta that was um, aneurys had the aneurysm, so they slid a stent, a four inch stent over that. And so where, any of that aneurysm comes down, there's little vessels that come out of it that go to like your upper arms or your lower arms or your kidneys or wherever. So the part that her four inch stent was at goes down to her lower legs and to her kidneys. The kidneys are working good, but sometimes what does happen is that they do become paralyzed. Um, if that spinal cord fluid builds up too high and that is why they leave the spinal catheter in because as it builds up too high they can release it and it drains out some and they can keep it at a certain level and that's what they've been doing normally they get to take it out 24 hours later we're in a couple days later <laughs> i've lost total track of time um I believe it sounds like it's a little bit better today, but they definitely did not want to pull that today. So uh, that's why she's got to stay in intensive care. That's why she has to stay on her back. Um, just kind of feeling pretty punky today. But this is, you know, Monday, this, all, this whole event will be four weeks old. And I'm sure she's quite tired of all of this. But once she gets that spinal catheter out and she can at least get up or move around and sit up I think she will feel so much better um, the heart itself is working good the um, aneurysm is closed off so we don't have to worry about that bursting um, everything in there that part looks good so um, today they they asked me to get a hold of everybody and said no visitors. They did. They were nice enough to let me sit in there because I just sit in there and if she needs a drink, I can help her or I helped her with her food or her pudding. Um, but they wanted her to sleep today. She's not gotten a lot of sleep. And the doctor even raised the checking this and this and this every hour. So the nurse didn't have to go in there every hour and wake her up. So... Um, most of that time I was up there today, she was sleeping. And that's what she needed. And she did look better when I left. So, and um, I already just te or got a text from her. She wanted to make sure I got home safely. So, um, 
I'll text her again after a few hours so she can sleep. So that's where we're at with Donna. Um, also, gosh, my list of all our cats here is sorely out of date. We will get caught up. <clears throat> um, Fern, I'm just, just going to tell you, well, first off, the ones that's been adopted in the last few days. You okay? Um, is uh, Chuckles was adopted on the 8th. Um, Tomba and Teddy Bear was adopted on the 8th. On the 10th, Zappo and Ellen, that was yesterday, today's the 11th. Um, Zappo and Ellen were adopted yesterday, and then Bipsol was adopted this morning. Oh, I missed that. Mm-hmm, Bipsol. Going to be a good adoption, I think. Although, I already heard back from her once that Rion, the cat at home, wasn't too happy about the deal, but I think, I'm hoping it'll, it'll work out. So... Um, and then on the list of kitties that, that I have here, that is very out of date. But I can kind of fudge it a little bit. Um, Fern is on hold. They were going to pick them up this weekend but in, or Tuesday. And those two dates are just not going to work. So they're going to call me back. They're good people. I know them very well. And they'll be back. <clears throat> and they'll be back in touch with me. And we'll get a adoption date. Um... Theo, I don't know if you guys know it or not. I think you do. Theo is on hold. Actually, the young lady that's going to adopt her, him, was here this morning. And he, she's been coming twice a week, I think, and um, uh, has been visiting him. And that will be nice because then when Theo goes into his new home, he will already know his mama-to-be. So Fern's, a, Fern's on hold. Theo's on hold. Cass has had lots of um, uh, um, people of interest on him, but nothing has come through positive yet. Right now, I have two active, interested people, and so we'll see where well, that goes. Too bad. He was looking at two. They were looking at this morning. The woman that came in was looking at Jazz. Okay. Yeah. yeah she said that you knew. Okay, I know which one that is. That is one of the two. Penny Lane is on hold. Yay. I'm very happy about that. And Penny Lane um, will go either February 11 and 12 or February 18 and 19. So she will also be going home on a plane. Sorry. Oh, so before that happens, we have to have um, 10 days. We have a period of 10 days to get an air flight um, medical paper done for her. So um, we will get that arranged too. Ragsy has already been adopted. Giggles has been is being looked at, but is not technically on hold yet. Chuckles is adopted. Teddy Bear and Tomba went. Um, oh, now this gets a little complicated here. Um, Bipso left this morning, and then we have a possibility of Angola and Dakota on hold. Those are not confirmed holds. Those are a hold with a question mark. Um, Ellen left. Tux is here. And of course he's on hold. Nadine is definitely on hold. And um, Nadine may go home with Willow. So Nadine for sure is on hold. And I'm pretty sure that family is also going to take Willow. So that's where we're at right now. And then I can give you an update on uh, the new kitties. <sighs> Boy, we've gotten a lot of rain and um, the river is really high. High, high, high. So, kind of in a nutshell. Eh, that doesn't seem right. Mm, excuse me. 
Okay. So, uh, you all know about Zappo, Zeppo, and Zippo, and Zappo was adopted. And then Shinzele is here. She's one of our newer ones. That's a, a young adult. She's black and white. Has that real cute face that has all kinds of little cute markings on her face. Uh, that's Shinzele. She's really sweet. She hangs out in the um, welcome room most of the time. So she's there. And then Allie Jo is another young adult that we've recently taken in. And she's that black, really dark orange and white uh, calico. And then Fanta has a brown tiger and white. And her nose, you can tell her from any of the others because her nose is half tiger and half white. And then um, we also took on two other kitties. Oh, I think I have pictures of them. Turn. It says no. I'm not gonna turn. Oh, poopy. I mean, pooey. Okay, this is the calico kitten. She's a lot of white, but she definitely has distinctive black and orange. I'm tipping it so you can see her back, and of course that doesn't work on a on a camera picture. But she has plenty of gold on her too. She's very very sweet. And then her, that's a her, of course. And then her brother is this little dude. He's a little orange and white fella. I do not have names on them yet. They will get names pretty quick. Um, these two are in the top thumpers room pen, which is, that's what it looked like. I just, for those of you who don't know what that looks like back there, we have two sets of, well, there's, Actually, there's eight condos in the back room. Um, but I like to put the kitties in this top one. That was actually, it's named after Paul. It says Paul, Paul's condo. But you can see the calicos in that little hutchy thing. And then the gold and white one is on the other side. Um, and they're doing quite well. Full of fleas and full of roundworms always interesting when you give them that first dose of um, round worm medicine. Is, can you leave whoever that? Oh, hey, I hey. think he wants it. Yeah. Um, and it's like bombs away on the round worms. Lots of them. So they've had that. They also got started today on their first, uh, first of seven days. And you guys know I do not like giving that um, um, panic here. I just don't like it. They don't like it. It comes in liquid and it comes in powder and they just don't always always like it but um, they've had that too and needed it so they came in yesterday and um, Kim my early morning person I showed her how um, how to hold them for their leukemia FIV heartworm test and she did really good so uh, we got their test done this morning and they they are of course negative or we wouldn't be talking about them. Um, let me think here if there, oh yeah, yeah, I think there's one more thing I thought I could could pass on to you. Um, Monday morning, 9, 9, 15, we have one of our recently adopted kitties coming back for vaccines. And depending on what goes on with Donna, um, Nadine, and, oh, you know what? It's Nadine will be adopted one to one, around one o'clock on Monday. But they're not sure. I had said Willow. They're not sure whether it'll be Katie or Willow. So, um, don't know for sure, but for sure Nadine. And then also on Monday is Cashew's. Remember Cashew that was adopted a couple weeks ago? They'll be bringing her back on Sunday. And then we'll process her through because we knew she needed a dental when she was an FFRC cat and uh, they didn't want to wait for the dental to be done and that was fine we just require that their spay or neuter is done so um, they're going to bring her back Sunday night this coming Sunday night 
we'll arrange a ride for her, have her dental done, and then they'll probably pick her up Tuesday, I believe, um, to take her back home. And then Tuesday the 14th, oh, no, those are just all treatments. Flash sale is at noon on Wednesday. And that, I think, is all I have. Oh, poor little thing. So, yeah, and I am deeply sorry about the boxes. Please don't ever think I am not grateful for them because I am. I'm just um, really, my first priority is Donna and, and the cats. So I'm keeping up on the adoptions, keeping up on the treatments, but some things have had to be kind of slid on the back burner for a little bit, and eventually we will get all caught up. So I do have a few minutes. If you have any questions, pile them on. I am ready if I have any answers. I know we're about 40, 40 seconds behind, so I'll just wait and see if you have any questions. Let me rub your head. Come here. I can't reach. I can't. Here. If you bring your head, I can give you a head rub. I can't reach. <laughs> yeah. Donna, as bad as what Donna felt today, she still... Still trying to crack a joke with me. <laughs> like, well, just go to sleep, Donna. <laughs> yeah, thank you, April. Appreciate that. And Yvonne, I think it's about time you come and visit us again. Very soon. Isn't that awesome, Secura, about Papa? And he's maintaining his weight. Actually, well, let me check. Since I have his papers right here, I can look real quick. Because most of these kitties just got weighed. Paw, paw. He's maintaining. Oh, no, I guess we didn't weigh him. But he's maintaining his weight. He's doing really well. I'll have to uh, weigh him and uh, see what he is right now. Oh, definitely Donna will be coming back here. There is no way she can go home without without care. Uh -uh. Um, is Pania? <laughs> I know, isn't that cool, Nance, how Pania has decided that that turbo track is, she must think there's a real mouse in there or something. Came in the same day as Allie Jo. Fanta, Fanta, Jack. Uh, Kathy, it's F-A-N-T-A. -A. Getting this coming week, want to order. I love sending those purple mamas home, if I remember. I'm trying to do better. Um, well, I don't know, but there are a few. And Tux, of course, won't go for quite a while. But I, I have maybe four more up here, Jack Cat. Donna's cats are doing very good. Uh, Lynette, Jimmy, Connie, and I all went over last night just to check on them again. I mean, we all, we, D Connie's been doing the majority of the feeding, and then I've been going over to do other stuff and feed some too. Actually, I think I'm doing supper tonight. And then Lynette has been filling in as well, but we all went over yesterday. They're doing good. Where's Donna's kitties? Donna's kitties are at her house. Donna lives down the road here just a little bit. Um, I can get there in six, seven minutes. Dylan and Dixie? No. No, not no. Those were, those are gone. Those are not here now. Yeah, Donna, Connie's been taking the main care of them. They're big kitties. <laughs> They have a wheel there, and I even, um, Donna and I took a yoga mat over there, oh, it's been months ago, um, to put the wheel on, and they still, they spin it so fast that it, it humps around on the floor and is way out. It's so funny. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's, it, the real real word of that is Klaus. Klaus is the right word, but it's mispronounced, or it's said a lot of different ways. Oh, that fish thing, you know what? I'm waiting for the next one. We got so crazy busy. Thank you for bringing that up. The fish joke that I'm going to do with, um, do with uh, Dr. Darcy is on the 18th, a week from today. We'll be in on that. Yeah, it's it's uh, Klaus, is but we call them claws or goofball or whatever. Yeah, he's a funny cat. And then one of her other cats, Jerry, a big black and white dude. He loves to take the the plastic springies and carry them around in his mouth, and he all over the house. And then he goes to the steps and drops it. Boing 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 boing. Down the steps. Pania would love to have some more flakes. Is that what you want, Pania? Do you want more flakes, Pania? Pania? Can you wait till I'm done? I'm almost done. Will you wait? Oh, go look at me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Donna's kind of lost her spunk at the moment, but I can see it in there. I can still see it in her eyes. Yeah. Can I? <laughs> Where is he at? Vernon. Vernon. When I find him, I promise, Sonia, I'll give him uppies and I'll tell him they're from you. Promise. The um, torty kitties are doing really well. I wish somebody would adopt Snugsy. She's such a sweetheart, and I just wish somebody would give her that chance. Stop, stop, you're crying. You are fine. You all know probably that Tuxie's been a little under the weather. Um, <laughs> oh, Sonia, you are so right. <laughs> He doesn't get in trouble when he's sleeping. Um, but Tuxie's been a little under the weather. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get the best of that cold yet. You have another story for Donna? Send it. Send it and I'll I'll give it to her. I'll probably wait till she gets here because she's not reading too good right now. But I know she would love that. Jessie's been doing real good. She's got us all pegged on. Oh, there's a new person that just came in. I'm going to meow so I can get fed again. And sometimes she just takes a cursory little lick or two and then she's done. She's probably thinking, yeah, I got that one again. Yeah, Snugs is a, she's a good girl. Yeah. Well, Donna appreciates all of. Um, the good thoughts and good prayers from you folks. She really does. All right, if you guys are set, I'm going to get a few more things caught up. <laughs> he's in his, he's in the bottom condo over here right now, so we can keep a little better track of him. Yeah, that's exactly right, Sonia. Yep. Yes, I have that story right here. And which way did it go? Where's my book? Do, 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 do. I know it's in here. Yep, it's in here. I just got a... Um, to be honest with you, it's probably going to be after Donna comes home. Because it takes me an hour to get to the hospital and then an hour back, of course. And I do spend quite a while up there with her. And then when I get home, it seems like it's a mad rush to either adoptions or getting caught up on things. So we'll get it. Yeah, she's a good girl. <laughs> All right.
right, folks, I'm gonna gonna get busy here and get some more of this done. So appreciate you all, and we will get caught up all the way soon. I promise. I promise. Right, Pontonia. And what are you doing down there, Mr. Zippo? Zippo, Zappo, Zeppo. Now we're gonna throw this away. You're all done with all the goodies. Yes, I'll get you some. Oh my God. Got to go in there.